My name is Robert Meisey, and welcome to my continuing series on the international tax provisions of the 2017 Act. Today, we have an introduction to guilty. Notice that's not an introduction to be guilty. We're not going to talk about my buddies from high school doing time currently. What we're talking about is global intangible low tax income. The guilty regime was part of the Act's provision with respect to the tax of intangibles. Congress wanted to tax the income earned by intangibles in the United States. Now, unlike the laundry list of potential intangibles in Code Section 936, the Act takes the approach that any excess return, that is a return in excess of 10% of depreciable assets, is a return attributable to intangibles. There are two provisions here. First is the FIDI, Foreign Derived Intangible Income Deduction. That's sort of a carrot, and we're going to talk about that another day. What we're going to focus on today is an introduction to guilty, the global intangible low tax income, which the Congress and the IRS sort of view as the stick. It's basically going to tax the earnings of a foreign subsidiary that are high earnings in the United States. The two-prong upshot of this is that, first of all, it's going to incentivize the movement of manufacturing assets to foreign countries, which is very odd. We want to actually help create job, manufacturing jobs abroad, counter to just about every policy, tax policy we've ever done in the United States. It's also going to discourage moving low basis intangibles to foreign countries. So how in the world does this work? Well, guilty is going to be income to all types of U.S. shareholders, C corporations, as well as individuals who may own parts of CFCs through S corporations, partnerships, and LLCs taxed as partnerships. Now, there's a very technical definition in the code. This first line here, net CFC tested income without subpart F income minus 10% of qualified business assets investment by minus net interest expense. But the second line basically says what I think we need to know. The CFC's income less 10% of depreciable assets. In this example, we have 2 million of income in the CFC, controlled foreign corporation, and we have 10 million of depreciable assets. 10 million, 10%, 10 million is 1 million, 2 million minus 1 million, our guilty is 1 million. Now, I mentioned that all U.S. shareholders will have to include their guilty. However, if you're a C corporation, you get a break. There's going to be a 50% deduction of the guilty, and you're also going to get a deemed paid foreign tax credit. And we're going to talk about how these will create a difference for individuals and C corporations next time. Well, I want to thank you for joining me. Look forward to seeing you in the future.